Hi, I'm Brooke, and I own Cactus Coffee Shop in Wimberley, Texas. I'm here to chat about all things coffee and everything Cactus Coffee Shop. you speak into transitioning from being in the food truck to being in your own space? Yes. So I actually started in, as a brick and mortar when I opened. And the location was really difficult. It was just far enough out of town that commuters would drive past. They didn't want to stop. And I had transitioned from that in 2017 to 2018. And then I got into my truck. And I did the truck for a couple of years, and it was wonderful. 2020 was a gangbusters year for me. It's somewhat difficult to talk about sometimes because I had quite a bit of... uh, just had a very fortunate year. It was really wonderful when there was a lot of hardship for other places. And so once I wrapped up that year, it was my first really successful location. Um, I had made six figures. I had a really good profit return on that. And I was moving and grooving. And then the city got involved and discovered a ordinance that had been buried for a very long time. And the location that I was in, the actual street that I had been parked on, is what they defined as the city center. And if you were a food truck within the city center, you would be required to have a city council approval to remain in business every three months to renew your permit. And to me, that was just logistically, it was too uh, tenuous for me. Like, I need a lot of security. (laughs) And so the fact that at any three-month juncture, they could just say, no, you're out, and not have a backup plan, was uh, that was way too much up in the air. And we had decided at that point to leave the food truck. Another thing that um, a lot of people in the food truck industry know is how hot they can get. Even with, I had three fans, two air conditioners, it would top 120 degrees in the summer. And the ones with fryers and air vents and everything else, they get to about 140, 150. So it's kind of a physically challenging environment. So I sold the food truck in May of 2021. And in an interim period, we moved inside a boutique. And once the current space we had came available, we decided to snap that up and move back into a brick and mortar. Even though there were a lot of benefits to the food truck, there were enough downsides that this made a lot more sense to have a secure financial future. Thanks for listening and supporting me and my family. When you contribute to local business, you really are making a difference in your community. I hope to meet you at the shop and share a cup of coffee with you soon.